what explains the difference in outcomes between various African countries in terms of democracy? Uh, uh, we have a problem actually with this uh, second term issues and third term issues in a number of countries in Africa. And it is a problem. I think really a constitution should be a sacred document, not up for a change like, you know, every other day, depending on the, our whims or whatever. And if people agree that you're going to have a two term limit of five years or for four years, etc., we need to respect that. We don't, we don't need just to keep changing the constitution depending on what kind of president we have this year. And we need to remember what we apply now is going to be also applicable years from now. So we need to go beyond thinking of ourselves into the implication of what we're doing now on future generation. That's really important. Maybe one thing we should consider is to have uh, a monarchy. I mean, we can have somebody like Queen Elizabeth who can be there for 50, 60, 70 years, but still we can have a democratic government, and maybe it is a kind of deal we can offer to some of our presidents who, who don't want to leave. I mean, if we have somebody like Mugabe who is there for 35 years, or somebody like uh, our friend in, in Equatorial Guinea, 36 years in power there, say, so look, I mean, if you want to stay forever, why don't we offer you a deal here? We, we, we can be a monarch, uh, but you don't interfere in politics, and you stay in power for the rest of your life. I know it's going to cost us a little bit of money, but you stay out of politics, take your hands off the treasury, and uh, let us have a true democratic process. Maybe a kind of deal that m like that may work, I don't know. Do you think they'd have any reason to accept such a deal? <laughs> yeah, I don't. If they are interested in the, in the glamour of the office and the helicopters and, you know, limousine cars, Maybe they like it. Maybe maybe some people will accept that deal. Uh, but I, it's just it is so harmful to really our national development uh, when you see people put themselves before the country. Is it fair to say that Islamic fundamentalism is growing in North Africa? And if so, what can be done about that? It is a serious problem, and. Uh, I think it is growing, and I think uh, a cancer like ISIS needs to be dealt with promptly, because that cancer is serious and expanding very fast. And we are all sitting about and talking about, oh, but the Russian bomb, this, this guy did that. We are not really dealing with the issue and scratching our heads. Uh, it's a very complex situation where everybody seems to be fighting everybody. You've signed the Giving Pledge, which is a commitment to give away more than half your wealth to philanthropy. As a philanthropist, um, what lessons have you learned about how to make sure that every dollar you donate is, is spent as well as possible? So we decided then to use our funds in actually in our projects in Africa, which is reducing the index to measure the governance in Africa every year in every country and disseminate that to uh, agitate, to, to, to uh, uh, really uh, open a space for civil society to come on board and, 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 and work with us in Africa, uh, to c do conferences in Africa, we do training programs, scholarships, etc. But all focus on the area of development and governance, rule of law, uh, that kind of things. So we're really an, more of an activist than, than a charitable kind of uh, foundation. Uh, and uh, it's very difficult to measure our impact uh, because it takes years to see how governance is improved or uh, how leadership in Africa is improved. But we try to measure that by our interaction with, with the African people and uh, African civil society and African leaders because we do a lot of meetings with African leaders. And it seems that we are go getting a good hearing, at least. So I hope we are doing something useful. Moe Ibrahim, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>